Hello and thank you for joining us for Community Crossroads. I'm your host, Karina Garcia. And here's a look at what's coming up on today's show. We first sit down with Dr. Jennifer Kent, president of Victoria College to discuss dual credit courses set at no cost, so stick around for those details. We also touch base on Parkinson Awareness Day, followed by the city of Victoria, here to discuss their child safety passenger events. And we have brother Gary Moses and some information from the Victoria Art League. Now joining us now is Dr. Jennifer Kent from Victoria College. Welcome to the show once again. Thank you so much for having me on. So we're here to talk about these dual credit programs, mm -hmm. otherwise known as FAST. So tell me about these programs. Okay, in this last legislative session, uh, House Bill 8 was approved for the FAST program, that's Financial Aid for Swift Transfer. It's going to help any high school student um, across the state of Texas, but for Victoria College in our service area, who qualifies for free or reduced lunch at their school, this is going to allow them to get a head start. Dual credit classes will be absolutely free. That's going to include all tuition, fees, and textbooks. Wow. So free at no cost for students. Free at no cost for those students who qualify. And so what? Uh, let's touch base again on how students can qualify for this program. Absolutely. So it's, it's really set up for students who are economically disadvantaged. Mm -hmm. And that means that um, at their school, they are on free or reduced lunch. But also we looked at how we could expand this program to help out all students. And so, um, you know, there are community colleges across the state that are allowing those students, but the textbook costs they're passing along mm -hmm. to the school districts. We know our school districts cannot take on that extra burden because they're already um, strapped financially. So we said, what can we do for all students, regardless of whether they're qualified for free or reduced lunch or not, and regardless of whether they go to a public school or a private school or home school, mm -hmm. they will not have cost for textbooks. That's a game changer. The textbooks yeah. have gotten so expensive. They have. Upwards of oh, $200 yeah. for a book. And so that, that cost is going away now. Yeah, I know. When I, when I was back in college, I remember one of my most expensive books was actually around $300. Wow. So I can already just imagine like that lift burden off our students' shoulders. That's a great initiative here. Absolutely. And so one thing that we've talked about before is that Victoria College really pushes for students to come in and then stay here in the crossroads, you know, come back locally. So how will this kind of enhance that? Right. Well, we know there are really good jobs in this community, especially for students who have higher degree, have a workforce credential certification or a degree. But how can we get those students started earlier? And how can we show them that their mm. path will lead to high economic mobility right here in this region? You know, this is such a rural area. Um, I'm from a small town as well. And we want our students to be able to stay here if they choose. It's good to be able to stay close to family have good roots, stay close to yeah. home. And so where can people go to get more information mm -hmm. on FAST? Um, go to the high school counselors and talk to them about dual credit choices. It's that time of year where high schoolers are choosing their uh, classes for next year. Mm -hmm. So it's that perfect time. And I just want to say, don't be afraid to start out with a dual credit class. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of students feel like it may not be for them. It may be too difficult. It may be hard. It's for other students. But any student can be successful in dual credit. It's yeah. a great way to get started. It's a great way to get your feet wet and to get some success early and then build that confidence to know you can continue on to an associate's degree, to a bachelor's degree and beyond, get a workforce credential and have a fantastic wage and a good career they love right here at home. Well, you said it perfectly right there. Yeah, it's all about reaching out and just putting yourself out there. So uh, Dr. Jennifer Kent, thank you once again for coming on the show. Thank you so much. And for everyone at home watching, keep it here because we discuss Parkinson Awareness Day up next.